this is Kyler Curtis and Spencer Grimes here live at E3 from Game Reno with Rogue Gaming, and we just got finished playing Conan Chop Chop. Uh, super, super fun game, very much inspired by Castle Crashers, Legend of Zelda, Binding of Isaac, and what's even funnier is that it actually started off as a joke that turned into a game that people really, really, yeah. really wanted to play. Uh, we got to sit down, try it firsthand. We uh, went off into this world where every time you go through a new door, uh, you actually have this randomly generated room. It could be different every single time, and we're looking for that first dungeon. Unfortunately, things did not go quite our way as we quickly found out that this game is difficult. Why don't you go ahead and tell us a little bit about how uh, your experience went with it. Yeah, so the game is very difficult. Uh, so the first thing you'll notice, too, so the game's on a permadeath system. So when your character dies, you have to restart. So the way we did it, we ran in and we died a few times. And basically what you're supposed to do is just go back into town, upgrade your unit, upgrade your hero, upgrade your weapons, get food so you can heal yourself. And like when you're out in the forest, out in the world, uh, upgrade uh, more abilities, things that help you out like throughout the game. Um, but even then, the combat itself is also very difficult. You have to zip in and out of combat, block with your shield, hack and slash enemies, watch for poison, watch for traps. <laughs> there are just so many things to watch out for in this game that it is challenging on all levels. Uh, at least for me, it was. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about you. <laughs> and trust me, I, I had to pick you up a couple times, yeah, so uh, a few. I'll, I'll just leave it at that. Uh, but yeah, there was a big variety of weapons and different types of abilities to really enhance your play style. That's built for people who want to be archers, people who like bludgeon weapons or long swords. You start off with a dagger, and you, you actually held that for a while, uh, which was actually pretty fun. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, it was absolutely a blast. It's going to be coming out uh, in September of this year, so we're super excited to see more information on that. Definitely want to check them out. But yeah, this has been uh, Kyler and Spencer here providing that coverage at E3 that you know and love so much. So thank you guys for tuning in. Tune in right here for more information throughout the week.